In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a network of uh, 2D triangles to create an overall global form that's smooth and doesn't appear to be faceted. So go ahead and start by making um, some triangles using the 2D line tool. Go ahead and close those splines. I have my creation method set to corner for initial types so I don't uh, make smooth vertices. Um, also turn on your object snap. Um, I have endpoint selected, so turn that on. And then go ahead and draw a series of uh, triangles that are adjacent to each other. Okay, and then when you're happy with your overall shape, go ahead and go to the modify tab of that of one of the selected lines and attach the other lines to that triangle. Make sure they're all attached and uh, then go to the segment sub-object level of that line in the modify tab and uh, because you made these as triangles you're going to have at these intersections you're going to have two segments um, directly on top of each other so you'll want to select one of those segments and delete them so they don't have uh, so you don't have overlapping edges. Um, once you've done that select some of the vertices and turn off the object snap and go ahead and move these um, vertically so you create uh, an overall form that's going to have some curvature when you add a surface to it. Alright, and once you're happy with your form go ahead and add a surface modifier on top of that line. and it should produce a surface that's closed at all edges. Um, if for some reason it didn't work, it probably means you have a vertice somewhere on one of these edges that's floating and is not connected through this line network. Um, by default, you'll probably have five steps to your patch topology. Um, in this example, I'm going to uh, use just one, and I'll show you what that does in a second. So after you've made your surface and you're happy with your form, um, go ahead and add actually going to move this one down and move this one up. Um, go ahead and add a um, edit poly modifier on top of this surface and you can see it'll then triangulate that sur triangulate that surface. Make sure you have your edged faces on. If you don't, right click where it says perspective and turn on your edged faces here so you can actually see the subdivision of that surface. Um, you'll see that if you go back to the surface uh, modifier and you increase the steps of the patch topology, it's going to increase the triangulation or the subdivision on that surface. And it's going to make, um, when I add the mesh smooth, it's going to make these creases more visible. So if I then go to the edit poly and I add a mesh smooth on top of that edit poly, you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and increase my um, iterations to three, you can see that it uh, it becomes a lot more evident where these creases are. If I go back to the surface modifier and I decrease the number of steps, it becomes, it becomes a much smoother form. I'm actually going to uh, go all the way down to zero so you can see how smooth that form is. Let's go ahead and uh, turn it to one so we have some subdivision to work with on this form. If um, you open up the edit poly, you can then start to manipulate the polygons of this surface. So I can select some of these polygons or some of the vertices and under um, the edit vertices you can uh, chamfer chamfer these vertices I'm going to chamfer them and, and leave them open um, you can also select some edges let's select that edge um, and you can do the same with the edges I'll chamfer this edge See what it looks like when it's open. And once I'm happy with it, I'll say OK. And you can see what it does to the overall form. Um, under the Mesh Smooth modifier, you'll notice there are three different smoothing methods. I have NERM set as default, but if you change and, and go back and forth between these, you can see the different effects it has on the overall form. 
um, the NURMS is nice because it smooths it smooths a lot of these um, where the, the triangles connect so it produces that overall form that it's talking about at the beginning. So once you have the mesh smooth modifier you can start to manipulate how this surface is smoothing at a sub-object level. Um, if you want to select uh, the sub-objects of the mesh smooth just open up that modifier and you'll see that there's a vertex and an edge sub-object level for the modifier itself. If you select vertex you can begin to control the weight that these vertex have on the overall smoothing of the form. So if I select some of these vertices that are just floating out in space that are defined by the uh, original edit poly surface um, and then go down to the local control if I increase or decrease the weight it's going to have an effect on how that surface um, smooths. So for example if I select this vertice and I increase the weight it's going to pull that surface taut at that vertice. Um, that's true of all these vertices so if I want to pull the surface towards these vertices or even push it away I can just toggle back and forth on this value uh, this weight value under local control. You can do the same thing with edges so if I select, let's say I select these these two edges um, and increase the weight or decrease the weight you can see it affects how that surface is smoothing. After you're happy with your surface you can add a shell modifier to give it a thickness. Um, you can increase, you can toggle, toggle that value and you can see you then have a surface that has a thickness.